<clears throat> Hi, today we're going to put together an owl box. Um, here are all the pieces. You should have received this in your kit. We have these three small pieces, which are the uh, shelf for the outside. We have the walls, the floor, the roof pieces, and then the two barn sides. So, the way we're going to start, oh, and a bag of screws. Um, all the screws are the same, so that way there's no question on which ones go where. All you need to do to put this together is have a... Um, screwdriver. If you'd like to do some additional things, I'll show you where you can seal it a little bit better and uh, put some uh, glue if you'd like to make it uh, so that it never comes apart. But that is up to you. So let's get started. Let's start with the shelf. You'll notice that I marked the bottom F and E on the bottom of your shelf. You'll find an F and an E. Go ahead and put those pieces on there. For speed, and because I have one, I'm going to use a power drill. All of the drills, or all of the holes, are pre-drilled and countersunk, so they fit and match up nicely. This should be nice and flush on the sides. This whole process only takes about 15 to 20 minutes, even with a hand screwdriver. Goes together a little bit quicker if you have a drill. Now you'll find the door opening. You'll notice I mark this inside an arrow A and there's nothing on that side. I want this to go on the outside. So we have three screw holes here, here, and here that go through and mount that together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and push one of my screws through to a point where it's just sticking out on this side. I can then drop my hole, which is already there, from the pre-installation onto that spot. Hold it up. And screw it in. Now by simply doing a little bit of alignment, the screws you'd like. You can go ahead and add some glue behind this before you start and glue this on here permanently. In fact, all the pieces, if you wanted to, you could glue them on so that they, they'll never ever come apart or at least never come apart without a whole lot of work. Remember I said we have this A on the inside. On one of our wall pieces you'll find another A at the top. This wall goes on to here. So once again, I'm just going to go ahead and get one of our screws started over on this side, just so that it pokes through just a little bit. That will be our guide to put the hole in and Now, once again, the other side, this says inside A, I'm just going to put that up here, take our screws, stick one through as our pilot, just get it poking out a little bit, find our hole, and it goes right together. Find a B. All the lettering and markings are in the inside of the box so you won't see them from the outside. Once again, I'm just going to go ahead and start the two pieces or the two screws, get them through so that way I can line them up with their holes. And our shelf on. What we're going to put on now are these pieces that go across and cover up these walls. Once again, I have them marked B and A. 
Those are goat marks go on the inside, so that'll help you find the location of where this goes. This is fit nice and snug, so it should slide right down in. There will be a gap of about a half an inch along this top side when the roof comes down. That allows for ventilation and is supposed to be there. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in while I'm here. So A and B. This side is the B side, the other side is the A side, so let's go ahead and drop these into place. Okay, due to some errors during editing, we uh, need to redo this section. So, what we are going to do, put that there. Okay, we're at this port in the box. Um, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and install the base and then we're going to put the roof on and then the box will be done. So what we're going to do is we have our bottom piece. This is the only plywood piece in it. And here's the fun thing about it. It is cut almost perfectly to size. So you're just going to put it in place. The box might be a little off square when before this goes in, but once it does, it will be perfectly square. You put together, there's just four little brad nails, and you can see one of them sticking out here a little bit, but I'll knock that off before it gets shipped. But um, it comes bratted together. If for some reason during shipping this thing comes apart, don't worry about it. Um, the screws will hold it back together in the place that it was um, so that if it's spread apart a little bit go ahead and pull the brads out put it back on the roof I just do this for installation initial installation to make it a little bit easier for when I'm you know, getting the screws all in the right place so we're gonna go ahead and drop that on there make sure our screw holes all line up and grab a screw. Part. It's a good idea if you take some caulk, um, actually before you put the roof down, put some exterior caulk along this joint and then before you put this up go ahead and fill in the top um, with some wood filler or something else in order to uh, seal this in a little bit better. mount on just like this what you're going to want to do is add some filler or caulk to this edge here on both sides before you stain and seal the box so um, as you're putting it together go ahead and get some exterior caulk run a bead down this edge put it on screw it in place clean off any excess and that'll help seal the box up from water over time Okay, so that's it. Uh, box is all together, all the screws are in place. We put everything in. Like I said, when you're building it, you want to caulk this edge, that edge, and that edge. You glue anything you feel like you want together, um, it'll make it more permanent. The only thing you don't want to glue is the base. You want to be able to replace the base plywood if ever necessary.